The reason why we get into anger when we lose trust is because we're actually covering over a deep fear of the emotion of confusion. What we need to do instead is just allow ourselves to sink into that emotion of confusion and feel it, to feel confused and to feel the, the lack of trust that we have and to actually voice it and express it. You'll notice all the way through the discussion I had with those spirits that I was always encouraging them to voice their true emotions. And after a while, they got so used to it right from the beginning that they were now expressing their true emotions. Like he said, he hated me. And I could feel when he said that, his hatred towards me, this spirit, this slave spirit. He hated me because I was white. He hated me because I was in Barbados in a nice apartment talking to him when he was in a terrible place. There was lots and lots of reasons why he hated me in that particular moment. And it just encouraged him to express his emotion. When we uh, start getting into emotions of confusion, usually there's a lot of fear associated with them and we don't want to feel those emotions. And so as soon as we suppress any emotion, and confusion is an emotion, just like all these other emotions, and as soon as we suppress any emotion, that's when you'll be tempted to get into anger instead. That's when you'll be tempted again to push things away from you. So allow yourself to get into every emotion. Now, obviously, that takes a fair bit of courage. I'll just uh, turn that down a bit. Uh, that takes a fair bit of courage. Courage that many of us feel we don't have. But courage is another emotion. And it's one that God can give you. So pray to God for, you, for courage to deal with your emotions. That's a major thing that we can always do. You see, if you choose to not feel an emotion, you will get angry. Now, how you deal with that anger may be many variety of ways. Like, there's been so many things, examples I could bring up, but you know, there's a way of like going into calmness, you know, the Zen Buddhist type style of dealing with the anger. You know, meditate, breathe, get yourself out of the anger. You can do that, but you'll need to do that every day for the rest of your life. And when you pass into the spirit world, you still won't have forgotten your anger the anger will still be inside of you. And you'll still need to actually connect to it at some point to release it. Remember that every time an emotion passes through you, it's released. Every time you store an emotion, the moment you store the emotion, now it's not released and it defines you then. So the key is to let every emotion pass through you. 